subscribe, adventure fun. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> okay guys, we have Smasher's new Dino Rex Ice Age Series 3. It's super cool. I mean, take a look at him. In fact, you got this little egg up at the top. When you push on it, it says right here it'll make sounds. What kind of sounds? Let's give it a little listen. <laughs> well, I guess I'd feel relieved too. Is this the only sound he has? That just sounds watery nasty. <laughs> You can see, starting up at the top, Zoo Smasher, smash the ball and collect them all for ages five and older. And then, so you have where it says, eat him up. So as his mouth is open and you put, I guess, an egg in him or something, he eats up and then he blasts them out. <laughs> a little bit more graphic there, poop him out. Poop him out, shove him out, way out. <laughs> and you push the egg here and it just makes that nasty sound. And then, oh, you can see it includes two exclusive Smashers. It only comes with this play set here for the Ice Rex. And then you can see it includes Includes smash egg nest rebuilder. You can see it says throw them, smash, and surprise. So if you don't want to poop them out, you can throw them and smash them. But we're going to see what it looks like. And look at all these characters here. Man, they got googly eyes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're googly eyes because when you throw and you smash it, they come out just all tipsy. Woo! And we got the warning, choking hazard, small parts, and a small ball, not for children under three years of age. So there's the front. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the sides here. And for this side, just throw, smash, surprise. And so from that side, let's go to the other side. And it's the Series 3 Dino. Let's turn it over on the back here. So it says, eat them up, poop them out, way out. Meet the hungriest, iciest dino in ages, the Ice Rex. Ice, Ice Rex, baby. Lift his tail to bite down on your smash egg, then press down on the eggshell to smash and poop out your dino mash smashers. So you got some big graphic images here. One, you got a crunch by lifting up the tail. It looks like you press down the egg to make the sound, so press and smash. And then three, poop out the smasher and he comes sliding out. Or you can see over the side, you can throw it, smash it, and surprise. So either smash and poop them out from the ice rex or throw it and smash it yourself and then down at the bottom there you go you got the what it includes one smasher one smasher in smash egg one ice rex one nest rebuilder one collector's guide one instruction manual and then you got the rebuild the smash egg in the nest then of course you got some of the characters that are cool next we have at the bottom here warning do not aim at eyes or face when you throw the smasher only use smasher toys as projectiles attention please keep packaging as it contains important information cool it includes includes three button cell batteries, 1.5 volt AG13A76LR44 batteries times three. That's it, guys. You get one little smasher you can poop through. And if you want more smashers, then you gotta go and buy them in the big six pack. Well, the six pack, it comes with eight, but two of them are exposed like this one here. You got one exposed, and then you have one in an actual egg here. Then once you smash it, you can go ahead and put it back in here and rebuild it. So you can see right there, it's got a zip tie, it looks like. So probably the easiest way to get it out is maybe just to use these wire cutters, which would be a great Christmas gift to have to open all these toys by hand. I mean, maybe we could just try it here and, oh, look at that. Oh, that was easy, right, guys? And so we'll get our butter knife and let's just slice the tape here on either side. Slice it up here and over here. So it looks like it's a little bit glued here. Maybe I'm just gonna slice through that and maybe I could just pull that. Oh, okay, there you go. It was glued right here, so I just kind of sliced it through there. And Oh, look, we got some more here. We may have to wire cut. In fact, let's just open it up down from below. Oh, it looks like we got some tape over here, maybe. Yep, there we go. So look at that on the back side. You got those zip ties. Let's go ahead and just snip those zip ties right here. I mean, look how smooth that is. Oh, that's just sweet. And then we should be able to pull them out. Okay, that's a different sound. <laughs> he ate something then burped. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta undo his tail here. And we got a backside here. Wow, geez, that's kind of a monster to get off. And it looks like that just has got some preparations in. So we got our, looks like our collector's guide and our first little dude and our smasher. Wasn't that expose itself quite yet till we get through this. Okay, so here we go. Now the T-Rex looks super cool. <sighs> subscribe, adventure fun.
Okay, so let's open this up. We got our collector's guide. Um, oh, and we got a little instructions on our T-Rex here. Oh, and then the batteries, looks like it's on the underside right here. So there's where you can unscrew it to insert those three button batteries. And it's got the instructions right there. So you wanna make sure that this is secure in place, guys, because these cell batteries, anybody swallows them and stuff. I mean, it could create chemical burns. It just horrible. So you wanna make sure that that's sealed up when you change the batteries. Oh, and it's got how to play. Lift the tail to get your ice rex to chomp down on your smash egg. So lift the tail. Oh, he's got some sounds there. I don't know, is this supposed to be open or closed? Yeah, we'll soon find out. Simply place your smash egg on the flat surface in front of the ice rex. Lift the tail up and your ice rex will open his mouth as he bends down. Make sure the smash egg is positioned in front of the ice rex mouth to pick it up and chomp your smash egg. Once the smash egg is inside the ice rex, push the tail back down to return to the start position. Press down on the egg shell to smash your egg cell inside the ice rex. Once the smash egg is safely inside the ice rex, you will need to firmly press the egg shell on his back. Make sure you push hard enough to smash egg inside. Once smash your dino smasher and smash egg pieces will come flying out the underneath the ice rex. Pick up your smash egg pieces, close the compartment door underneath the ice rex and start smashing again. Okay, well, there you go. But before we get started, we really need to take a look at what we're gonna find. So here we go, we got a front and a back. So here's how you build it once you smash your egg to rebuild it back up again and so that's what we got this little looks like a volcano here and we put it back in and you rebuild it there and then on the other side there's the collector's guide super cool guys so what do we have here so you got the common treasures up the top and then down below you got five that are rares and then you have a play set exclusive which is the arctic ape we already got him here now hopefully or we should get the blizzard bear and then there's the ultra rare glow in the dark so i guess you're not going to get any common treasure in here or even the ultra rare glow in the dark you want those well we'll find out we should get the blizzard bear in here that's what i'm hoping because then we're getting closer to completing our set so you can go ahead and take this and just throw it down or you can go ahead and let's try this oh okay <laughs> okay we'll try it again i guess you got to go faster here we go he's got to come down on it let's see if it comes down oh come on can't there we go did it you hear that? He's like, hop, 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 hop. So now we're supposed to push and hold this down to actually smash the egg inside. We have to do it firmly, it says. And when you do that, you get the horrific diarrhea sounds. <laughs> He's so happy. So it looks like it did come flying out. So we got to push hard again. There we go. We completed our playset here. There's a blizzard bear. And guess what? He's a pencil topper because he's got a hole there. So you can go ahead and put it on the pencil and yay. Oh, we can do skill work now. Let's go ahead and go to skill. Oh, I love, so love you, blizzard bear. That's awesome. Now, here comes the real test about putting this all back together so we can try it again and make sure we can do it right. So according to the destructions, go ahead and you know pick which one you want to put in there. And if you want to, you could actually put candy in here and smash it or have them eat it and have it poop out some candy. You know, when they have a happy birthday party, you buy a whole set of these smashers here. You can put different treats in there and they have to smash it, poop it out to get the treat, the candy. Or, you know, maybe they'll get an ultra rare. That'd be fun. So what you need to do is you got two curves like this, okay? One of them's going to be the bottom piece. The one that is curved the most, you don't want that one. You want that one that has a sharp curve. That one's gonna be your bottom. So you're gonna go ahead and put that in, the shell builder, the Petri dish. And then you wanna get the two long sides of the eggs here. Now, which sides do you put down into it? Well, if you look at it, you have more like a spoon side. It's longer, rounder than this side. It's a little bit shorter. That short side is gonna go down and it's gonna come on the side of this egg right here, okay? It's gonna fit right on the sides. So that's what we're doing in here. So we're just slide right in like that you don't have to do anything just let it slide and let this slide in on the other side maybe give a little push to align it right now go ahead and take your treat take your uh, figure whatever you want to put in there and let's just go ahead and just put them in like that and then next you want to build the sides and you take the sides and you want to make sure that the smasher wording is right side up not upside down so make sure it's right side up and then go ahead and just drop it on the sides over here you may have to give it a little bit of help but he's got his arms are kind of pushing out so i'm not sure if i put him in the best way possible possible uh, but I'm just gonna keep going here I may have to put him in a way where his arms aren't smashing out yeah his arms he's got bulky biceps so I may have to turn him around and probably put him like kind of on his side okay I think that'll work better and then we'll go ahead and just kind of like 
turn it up and then put that. It should just slide right in. Oh, that's good. And then I'll just go ahead and just drop it right in. And you may have to adjust a little bit. Perfect. Now we're gonna take the real bendy part. I'm gonna push it up through here. And once it's inside, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumb and continue to push up at an angle so it comes up and it comes over the slip. And as it comes up, I'm gonna guide it a little bit with my uh, index finger here. So let's go ahead and just first push it through and just slide it in there. Okay, now it's in. Now here comes the tricky part. I'm taking my index finger and I'm gonna lift it up. At the same time, I'm gonna push with my thumb from behind and kind of hold with my other index finger. Just keep pushing up with my thumb, lift it up and push it, slide it in. What works for me is just kind of giving it a little bit lift up so it can get over that lip and then just kind of pushing from behind. Just a little bit of pressure and we got our egg. Sweet. Now let's go ahead and see if we can do this again. Let's see if I can poop it right. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. There you go, that's how you poop them out. Now you can do it that way, guys. You can just simply throw it and smash it. So let's just go ahead and see how fast I can build it now. So we're gonna take that, and then we're gonna do this on that side, and it just should slide right on in, really easy. You know, I'd hate to be the guy back at Zoo Room putting these things together. Okay, this one's kind of off just a little bit, and it just depends on the shape of the beast I'm trying to fit in there. Uh, hopefully, I may have to twist them or turn them just right so it doesn't like put too much pressure on one side so where I can't get these pieces in. So far, pretty good. I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit with my index finger. Actually, I'm gonna turn around and use my middle finger. That might be better. And I'm just gonna go like this. Just push and pull up. Hey, that's a lot easier. Cool. Record time, awesome. <laughs> you can do it that way too. He's pretty fun. I like this. This is great. I mean, the sound effects are awesome. So guys, if you look inside and here, let's drop out the back. You can see it's just a straight down shot, but it holds them there. And when I push down the egg, it has a little prong that actually goes down on top of the egg to smash it. But you have to push it hard enough to actually smash the egg. And guess what, guys? If you have a bunch of smashers, if you watch one of their videos on the smashers and you don't have a build an egg here, that's okay. We used actually an egg carton and we were able to go ahead and just put it in there. It's not as easy as this, but it still can be done and it's not too difficult actually. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like so we can go ahead and notify you as soon as we get others that come out. If there's any more smashers, uh, put in the comments down below if you guys collected all 51 smashers. But to get all 51, you gotta actually have the play set, which comes with these two that are exclusive just to this play set. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.